Tsar Bomba, officially designated RDS-220, was developed by the Soviet Union during the Cold War. Its test detonation took place on October 30, 1961, over the remote Novaya Zemlya archipelago. The device used a staged thermonuclear design, a fission primary that triggered a much larger fusion secondary. In theory the full design could have reached about 100 megatons, but for the test the yield was deliberately reduced to roughly 50 megatons to limit radioactive fallout. Engineers replaced parts of the tamper to cut down fast fission, which lowered overall fallout compared with the full design version. The bomb was carried under a specially prepared Tu-95 bomber and dropped with a parachute to give the aircraft time to escape. It was extremely large and heavy, requiring special handling and aircraft modifications. The explosion produced an enormous fireball and a towering mushroom cloud. The shock wave traveled great distances and was recorded circling the globe. Windows and structures were shattered hundreds of kilometers away. Because the test took place in a remote area, there were no widely reported immediate civilian casualties, but the environmental and political reactions were intense worldwide. Tsar Bomba remains the largest yield nuclear explosion ever tested. While it demonstrated the maximum energy that could be released, such enormous weapons proved impractical for real wartime use because of logistics, fallout, and political consequences. Its legacy is a technical milestone and a stark reminder of the destructive power humanity can unleash.